What's up, guys? I'm Guy Checkers. Welcome to Flip a Clip Challenge Time. Oh, look! I'm a Flip a Clip cartoon now. <laughs> Neat! I am excited. Had lots of coffee today. Look, I even have a cartoon Flip a Clip mug. <laughs> How cool is that? You guys want to win a mug like this one? Comment below. Today, we're introducing four super awesome, insanely good teen animators from all around the globe. Man, I love the Flip a Clip online community. Yeah, I'm talking about you. First creator, introduce yourself, s'il vous plaît. I'm Coco from Coco's Animations. That's my YouTube channel. And I live in the United States. I am 15 years old and I like to anime <laughs> and draw. Next up is another animation titan, Crymelt. How did you even come up with that name? <laughs> I sure was thinking, like when I was like a cringe little girl. Crymelt. Sounds like a yummy sandwich. I can picture cheese melting. Or crying. <laughs> so, where are you from, Crymelt? My parents are from Vietnam. I'm born in Sweden. You're really good at anime style. What's the most legendary anime show, in your opinion? One Punch Guy. Okay, the next two young creators don't speak English, or Swedish, or Vietnamese, or Russian. They speak Spanish. So, why don't we turn on La Maquina Españolizadora? For those non-Spanish speakers, pause this clip, turn on your subtitles now. Charlie Cat, please, tell us a little bit about yourself. Por favor, applause for Charlie Cat. Soy Charlie, tengo 13 años, soy de República Dominicana y estoy aquí. Your characters, they look very realistic. How did you learn to animate? Yo aprendí con el tiempo viendo tutoriales. Bueno, solo es guiarse del audio y poner a trabajar tu imaginación. <laughs> you make it sound so easy. Es que es fácil. Lo, lo difícil <laughs> es hacer que se vea bien. Cada artista está loco. Ahora, the next creadora is the fabulosa Inip. Yo soy Inip. Este, tengo 16 años y soy de Argentina. What does Inip mean? Es que en un tiempo me gustaba mucho Final Cut Freddy. Es como un juego de terror. Y mi personaje favorito era un conejo morado que se llamaba Bonnie. Entonces yo lo que hice fue simplemente dar vuelta a ese nombre y cambiar una letra y quedó ahí. Oh, that game gives me nightmares. O sea, me gusta mucho el estilo de hacer fondos. Pero me recuerda mucho a los libros infantiles. Eh, y me gusta mucho por ese mismo eh, motivo. You know, Pixar or Disney. They have artists specifically just for making the backgrounds. So it's pretty crazy that at age 16, you're already so good. Hey, Pixar, if you're listening, we've got your next big deal over here. <laughs> well, well, well. Are you guys ready? Because it's time for a very special challenge. Bring out the Wheel of Fortune! What's on the menu for tonight? Man, oh no. Crymelt, you talked first, you go first. Spin the wheel. Kimochi in a Rick and Morty world. So it's, <laughs> it's kind of creative. Kimochi in Rick and Morty's world? <laughs> Wubba lubba dub dub. You got Buki as an elephant. Buki as an elephant, you. <laughs> I'm fine with this. <laughs> El destino quiere que Roberto sea mi personaje. Roberto? But he looks like you? Charlie Cat? Inib, your turn -o. La de Loki está bastante buena. Me, tienda, me tienta mucho. Ooh, another Roberto episode. But this time, he's in Loki's universe? All right, creators. You have 24 hours to animate your episode starting now. <laughs> so, should we give them a little bit more time? What does the audience think? <laughs> okay, fine, fine. You can have one week. Whatever. You guys run the show. Gosh. One eternity later. 
That only took forever. Wow, you guys look awesome. Coco, can't wait to see how that elephant turned out. Animatic. <laughs> 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 OMG! Oh, so many details! No wonder you look exhausted. So, tell me about your process. First, I had to turn him into an elephant. <laughs> of course. And I tried like different designs and like, I'll just leave the nose and the ears, that's fine. <laughs> then I just, I, I did make a storyboard, but like, it was really messy. I like had like three frames or something, not three, but like barely anything there. <laughs> Yeah, I planned out like from the sounds, like I heard those beeping sounds and I thought he's probably typing the code. And I thought, let's make the code really easy because how can we guess it if it's hard? So he just one 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 and he guessed it. Maybe they thought it's a hard password <laughs> for their kind. And how about that mosquito? Pretty disturbing. Was extremely realistic mosquito that realistic that bookie couldn't stand him he had to get rid of the mosquito because he just couldn't look at that thing so he tried to swing his horse that way that way that way but he wasn't careful enough he accidentally cut the strings on his parachute shoot that one he made a mistake he looked down <laughs> And everyone knows, if you look down in the cartoon, you will fall. Sí, las luces y los colores me gustan mucho, son como muy armoniosos. Y también yo noto que el fondo se mueve con el personaje, no es como que él está quieto y plano y el personaje está arriba. Es como, interactúa mucho cuando cae con las nubes, es como que las nubes siguen moviéndose mientras él cae. Me gusta mucho el, el color del cielo, me, me da como una vibra de los, los primeros años de los 2000. Moving on, Crymelt, Kimochi in Rick and Morty's world. Animatique. Wow! That was extremely accurate. It looked just like Rick's spaceship. No sé cómo describirlo, pero me encantó. <laughs> I love that spaceship too. And the way you made light reflect on other objects is incredible. I drew the background very detailed because I could. Um, and then I just, well, copy and paste, copy and paste. How did you come up with the idea for Rick and Morty as birds? <laughs> The, um, the audio had um, birds in it, and I didn't know, I didn't want to have uh, simple birds, because it's kind of boring. So I I, uh, I um, went more for um, Rick and Morty, became birds, and then the, the, the character somehow took the ship from them. Me gusta mucho que al principio eh, a lo mejor yo lo vea y a lo mejor no fue la intención, pero me recuerda mucho a Bongo Cat. Uh, also like the moment where Kimochi just like takes out whatever this is, <laughs> a red bag, just use that to fly. Next animator. Oh, oh, excuse me. Next el animador, Charlie Cat. Your challenge was Roberto, but he looks like you. <laughs> Brilliant! Mm, the 
desafío era darle características mías a Roberto. Y bueno, le, le añadí una cola, orejas y los lentes. Los típicos lentes que uso. Your episode looks like a moving painting. What inspired your aliens? Si es un alien, debe verse lo más, no sé, raro posible, porque es un alien, no sabemos cómo ser los aliens. El alien que quería ra raptar a Roberto porque, para darle color, porque si se fijan que en el, en el otro episodio estaba blanco y negro, ¿no? Entonces lo capturó y Roberto estaba en prisión porque lo habían capturado. Entonces lo absorbió, lo llevó a su nave, le dio color y luego lo dejó caer en el vacío. This is the first animatics episode I've seen where the aliens are the good guys. Good job. And like the effects, like the lightning thing. I don't know how to anim animate that, but I want to know. I'll learn. Let's look, that looks really cool. I love the effects it has. Our final participant, the uno and only Inib. Roberto in Loki's multiverse, vamos. Animatic. Oh no, tiene un gemelo marvado. Wow, I find interesting. The wave just really smooth. I like this perspective and the trees like going upwards, like but towards you. <laughs> this perspective was amazing. Tell us about your process. En primer lugar, me inspiré con mucho en Steven Universe. How did you come up with that blur effect? Primero, eh, bueno, haces el dibujo que querés hacer y con la herramienta lazo lo achicas y lo grandas y lo achicas y lo grandas. Y así muchas veces, y se va a empezar a borrar, se va a empezar a ver borroso. Y después... <ríe> y después así. No es mucha wow. ciencia alrededor. Well, folks, we've learned a lot today. Let's give it up for our four incredible animators. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you also follow our four incredible animators to watch their upcoming projects. Oh! And please let us know what other Flip a Clip creators you would like us to have for our next Flip a Clip Challenge time. Hmm.